This is the Facet C113. It's a pinwheel mechanical calculator that's been cleverly designed with, to have a keyboard instead of uh, pin inputs. Here's the back plate with the uh, information of the manufacturer. Etwiderberg Facet. Facet was an, a subsidiary of Etwiderberg uh, Industries. It was in, made in Sweden. And the serial number here is one of the first, the early ones of this particular model from 1957. Previous versions of this model, the first version was made in 1932, was called the Model T. And subsequent versions were virtually the same. Each version basically only changed the outer casing. This one, this is the last version, started in 1957. This has a casing uh, designed by uh, Siegfried Bernadotte. He was a, uh, a royal son, the second son of the King of Sweden, but he had to give up all his titles when he married a commoner in the mid-30s and then later became a, an industrial designer and he's the one who designed this case. It's uh, the, the pinwheel mechanism has basically been uh, turned 180 degrees. So the input is here at the front, the output register, the main register is at the top left, and the counter is in the top right. And if let's type a number. The digits appear here. And uh, yeah, this has nine, uh, a capacity of nine digits. If you type more, it just doesn't work. Turning the crank, adds it to the main register here and increases the counter register. So uh, if I want to multiply this by, uh, by five, you simply turn the crank five times. These uh, levers here, they uh, clear the registers, so this one is for the input, this is for the, the counter register, and this is for the main register. To multiply by a larger number, you can shift this uh, input to the left using uh, this key here. So now I've multiplied this number by 231 and the result is shown here. There's a nice blind here that uh, makes sure that you don't see any further zero digits as this moves to the left. This uh, machine also has an automatic subtraction mode or division mode and uh, I'll show you this now. Let's, uh, let's put in a big number. This key here uh, is used in division and it shifts the carriage all the way to the left. That way I can add it at the furthest point on the left in the main register. And suppose I want to divide this by um, 123. Again, Division is uh, done by long division, so you start from the left, so again I'll use this key. Um, the machine has padded this with a few zeros, and the reason is that the uh, counter register here has only eight digits, so you can only have an eight digits uh, answer a quotient, and yeah, so eight starting eight digits from the end of this number 
yeah, it means that I need a few extra digits here. So next I have to turn this uh, counterclockwise to subtract it, but I don't have to turn a switch to make this counter uh, add it, um, count the number of subtractions instead of the number of additions. As soon as I turn it anticlockwise, a red dot appears here to indicate that it's in subtraction mode and that it now counts the number of subtractions. So I've subtracted it seven times, so now the first few digits are smaller than this, and I have to move to the next the next column. You can see the little uh, red arrow here to show you uh, where you are with your division. Oops, I went a bit too far. There we go. There we are. So the result of my division of this large number we started with by 123 is this, with uh, 96 as the remainder. So that was the facet C113. Thank you very much for watching.